Of course, we need, and maybe later on, when the, you know, the immediate danger of a pandemic um, will go down, we need to consider how the institutions, international institutions, were, you know, meeting with this uh, crisis. And this is not the possibly the last crisis the mental, the humanity will face. Therefore, in our opinion, it is absolutely essential to consider whether we need new, uh, you know, structures, new institutions, or we should completely refurbish the existing one. Like, for example, World Health Organization. You know, because of its mandate, it has limited resources and limited mandate to react possibly the way it should do. Right. And of course, it is, it is not right. Uh, With- correct and right when those institutions are influenced by individual powers. It should be changed. Vladimir, we're seeing out of the normal acts of cooperation between countries, for example, Russian ventilators recently sent to the United States, but they were made by a firm that was under U.S. sanctions. Do you expect to see a rethink of U.S. sanctions on Russia and including against individuals such as yourself? Now, firstly, my position is well known, and I was keeping telling about that. I consider this type of sanctions is firstly illegal, and then it is not helping to prove anything uh, in the course of politics. And, you know, the fact that two leaders, Putin and uh, Mr. Trump, were talking about uh, coronavirus or were talking about oil situation, and the United States accepted the, you know, the help, the support on the part of Russia, re- reminded me, of uh, the event of Spitak earthquake when the Soviet Union firstly accepted the world help to deal with the consequences of this earthquake. I suppose, and I completely agree with the notion of some experts, that our world system altered forever. And we should think now, you know, progressively, how we should do, you know, further, because this pandemic, possibly not the last, God bless Mm -hmm. us, and we even don't know the face of the future challenges.